Hi, and welcome to this overview of the City University of New York PhD program in chemistry. I'm Professor Brian Gibney, the executive officer of the program here at the CUNY Graduate Center, and a faculty member in the Department of Chemistry at Brooklyn College. My colleagues and I are excited that you're considering graduate studies with us at CUNY. Our goal is to educate and train the next generation of leaders in the chemical sciences. In other words, you. All students admitted to the PhD program in chemistry are offered a CUNY Science Scholarship, a guaranteed five-year support package. These benefits provide you with sufficient income and security to focus on your coursework, scholarship, and research as a graduate student full-time. As detailed in your financial award letter, the CUNY Science Scholarship provides a competitive stipend, eligibility for low-cost health insurance, and paid tuition for five years. One major advantage of the program is its location in New York City, the most exciting place on the planet. The energy of New York simply can't be described. It must be experienced firsthand. You can travel the world without leaving New York. It has a neighborhood for every ethnic group, and you can hear 800 languages spoken on its subway system, which runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just like the city above it. New York City houses more culture in its museums, theaters, and nightclubs than you could ever experience, not to mention the sports. Personally, I like to catch the summer Shakespeare in the Park performances, which are free. You may like hip hop, which New York City invented and still does better than any place. With respect to chemistry, there are seminars and workshops offered throughout the city, including those at the New York Academy of Sciences. The American Chemical Society was founded in New York City, and there's a vibrant local section of the ACS that sponsors about 100 events a year. Frankly, if you're bored in New York, then you're simply boring. The CUNY PhD program is unique in that it's a consortium of seven distinct colleges. This gives our program a breadth and diversity unparalleled in other PhD programs. You apply to, and your PhD will be granted by the CUNY Graduate Center. However, your research will be with a faculty member at one of the CUNY colleges located throughout the five boroughs of New York City. This structure provides the program with its distinguishing characteristics, diversity, and scale. These are easily shown by the size and diversity of our doctoral faculty. We have more faculty than there are elements on the periodic table. And just as each element has unique properties and reactivity, each faculty member has a unique research program in which to train graduate students. The breadth of research being carried out at CUNY is staggering. Our program brings in about $20 million a year in external grants and publishes over 250 papers a year. As a PhD student at CUNY, you can choose to work with any member of the doctoral faculty at any one of the CUNY campuses. So the size of the faculty translates into more opportunity for you. While faculty in the traditional chemical disciplines are very well represented, the faculty increasingly includes researchers at the interfaces between disciplines. And collaborations between CUNY faculty are abundant, as are collaborations with groups worldwide. The diversity of research interests provides a rich environment for your PhD training. We have world-class expertise in both the more traditional chemical disciplines of analytical, inorganic, organic, and physical chemistry, as well as interdisciplinary areas such as polymer chemistry, radiochemistry, molecular biophysics, computational chemistry, structural biology, material science, and nanotechnology. You may find the prospect of selecting a research mentor from the 120 faculty at CUNY daunting. Not to worry, the program is structured to provide you with the advisement you need to make this most critical decision. As executive officer of the program, I will help you in this process, and I'll be assisted by one of my colleagues serving as a subdiscipline chair for the program. Together, we'll work to find the best PhD mentor fit for you. And once you do select a mentor, we'll check in with you yearly to make sure that you're making progress towards your PhD degree. While the PhD is a research degree and can't be earned solely in the classroom like you did for your undergraduate degree, there are academic requirements for the awarding of the PhD. 
When you enter, you're a level one student or first level student. You'll take three of the four first level courses in the fall semester of your first year. Most of you will take organic, inorganic, and quantum chemistry. But students who wish to be in the polymer subdiscipline will take polymer chemistry and two of the other first level courses. These courses are designed to give you a broad and solid foundation in the fundamentals of chemistry from which to build the specialized knowledge in your chosen subdiscipline. The final exam of these first level courses are considered your first level exam, which you must pass to progress to level two. In level two, you take courses within your subdiscipline of specialization. The exact courses are detailed in the student handbook on the chemistry program website. You also need to pass your second level exam to advance to level three, or PhD candidacy. The program expects that you'll do this at the end of year two. The second level exam consists of the oral defense of an original research proposal, and if you're an organic subdiscipline student, a series of cumulative exams, or CUMES. You also have to present a literature seminar and have an annual committee meeting in order to advance. Once you do advance to level three, you will have earned a master's in philosophy or MPhil degree. And the only requirement at that point for graduating with a PhD degree is the successful defense of a dissertation that makes a substantial and original contribution to the field. The path to your PhD should take about five years and because you need to synthesize a novel approach to a major unresolved research problem and complete your evolution into a professional chemist. In the first year, you'll be taking classes at the Graduate Center and learning about the research opportunities available to you. You will not be teaching in the first year. You will hear faculty speak about their research, and they'll invite you to come to their labs to do a short research project, or a rotation as it's called. You will complete three rotations within your first year in order to help identify the best mentor and the best laboratory environment for your PhD studies. And to make sure that you see all that CUNY has to offer, all three rotations cannot be done at a single CUNY campus. You must go to multiple campuses. You'll also take a course in professional development to show you how to interact effectively and professionally with other chemists and attend a workshop on the responsible conduct of research so that you can form to the fundamentals of ethical research conduct. By May of your first year, you'll select a research mentor and begin your thesis research over the first summer. In your second year and beyond, you'll be located at your mentor's laboratory at one of the CUNY campuses, and you may be asked to teach courses at that point. You'll complete your course requirements, present your literature seminar, hold your first committee meeting, defend your original research proposal, and if you're an organic subdiscipline student, pass your CUME exams by the end of your second year. Later years, are filled with solving your research problem, writing journal articles, going to conferences, and ultimately defending your PhD. In addition to these formal requirements, we routinely offer workshops and seminars intended to prepare you for a career as a chemistry professional. These include offerings in pedagogy by the Graduate Center's Center for Teaching and Learning, workshops on alternative careers by the Office of Career Planning and Professional Development, networking events sponsored by the New York local section of the American Chemical Society, and workshops on grant writing at the CUNY campuses. All of these events provide a rich environment for you in which to grow into your professional career. I want to take a minute and highlight a couple CUNY-wide resources that chemistry students use on a routine basis. The CUNY Advanced Science Research Center, or ASRC, is an interdisciplinary research institute located on the City College of New York campus. The ASRC is the jewel in the crown of the multi-billion dollar CUNY Decade of Science. The facilities at the ASRC are amongst the most advanced in the world and are available to all CUNY students and faculty. Architecturally designed to be a collaborative environment, the ASRC houses students working for faculty members at the ASRC for their dissertation and also students working with mentors at the campuses who collaborate with faculty at the ASRC. In addition, all CUNY students have high-speed internet access to the High Performance Computer Center at the College of Staten Island. Consisting of more than 3,000 cores, the center is used extensively for computational chemistry, ranging from molecular mechanics and molecular dynamics simulations, all the way up to time-dependent density functional theory for electronic structure calculations. 
Lastly, I want to thank you for your time in listening to this presentation. My colleagues and I are excited to welcome you to our program, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall.